Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna to do a review of this pedal right here. This is from X-Vibe. This is the Sweet Leo O2 pedal. This is more of a, a lead distortion pedal. Um, I actually really kind of dig it. I'm not even really like a, a super lead guy and uh, I'm able to dial in some pretty cool tones here. So let's talk about it just a little bit and then we'll see what it sounds like. First of all, I just wanna say that uh, X5 does a great job with the little things like packaging. Um, you know, a box like this, there's a lot of Chinese pedals that I've gotten and they just come in just a cardboard box. You know, this is a padded box. It's got Velcro for you to put underneath your pedal, which I do on all my pedals. And it, you know, even this, it has a magnet that attaches, uh, that holds this together. Just, you know, the little things sometimes add up to the big things. So I just wanted to say that that's, that's one thing that I really like about it. Uh, another thing is aesthetically, the graphics on this guy are really cool. It has uh, this picture of this Leo Leopard and it's got a nice uh, textured finish to it. The quality of all the X5 pedals that I've played are very good. The knobs are really solid on here. Sometimes these smaller pedals, um, the knobs are you know kind of hard to get into and hard to twist. Uh, just because they're so small. They've done a really good job with the size of these. And you know, everything from the switch, the LED, it's not too bright. They just did a really good job uh, aesthetically with these pedals, which kind of take it up a notch. I know that's just something that you're, you're having on your pedal board. It doesn't really matter, you know, how it sounds is the biggest thing, but it's nice when they, they go the extra mile with that kind of thing. Looking at some of the controls here, um, here we have the tone, and this is gonna shape, obviously, the, the tone of the distorted signal. Then we have the level up here in the top right. This is just the overall volume of the effect. And then we have the drive right here. And this is the amount of the distortion that you're gonna put through. And then this right here, growl, blends the clean overdrive with like kind of a bell type sound. Uh, and so it, it, it's very similar to kind of how a, a tube amp would work where you'd have your drive and then your level here so you can really drive this and then pull it down for the level. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and test this guy out. I'm playing with this parts caster that I built. These are um, humbucker pickups here uh, in the neck and in the bridge. So uh, this is getting more of a humbucker sound than it is a, a traditional Strat sound. I'm gonna play a little bit through uh, both, basically the, this top pickup and the bottom pickup. So I'll be using the neck and the bridge on this demonstration. So here's my clean tones here. Let's turn it on here. With that same setting, let's do it with the bridge pickup. Here we go. Let's go back to the humbucker and let's uh, let's crank this drive up a little bit. this growl on and see what that does here. I'm going to just put it all the way a dime it. Pretty 
French pickup. <laughs> the tone does here. I'm going to come back here and we will uh, come back here and adjust the tone. So here we go. Rolling all the way off. All the way on. Wow, you can really get that bite in there. back a little bit and pull this all the way down. Put some more growl in there. Let's just uh, let's kind of dime this guy up, except for the level. We'll just put everything at 10. Here's my clean tone. Just kind of 12 o'clock is funny because I kind of like that the best. That is the Leo, the sweet Leo from X5. I, I gotta admit, it's kind of pretty sweet. Um, uh, not too expensive, kind of in the right, the sweet spot, pun intended, <laughs> of, uh, of what a pedal should be. So anyway, hey, if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, I make videos that help make musicians better. So I do a lot of kind of reviews like this for different budget pedals, but I also do music theory and different videos of uh, technical things that you need to know as a musician, particularly guitar players. So anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.